the slot machine uh, has really evolved over the years. If you go back to some of the original you know, games with the lemons and limes, and th these are all computers right uh, now. They're you know, high definition uh, screens. So as an industry, our industry is evolving. And as technology evolves, we're evolving as well. So anytime new things like facial recognition can be introduced, uh, it's an exciting time for us to try and bring those into our you know, equipment and into our industry, quite frankly. Hello, Tom Suke. Welcome to the Global Gaming Expo. Certainly from a manufacturer's perspective, our perspective, um, we get more data, more detail about who's playing our machines, why they like to play our machines, demographics. Um, certainly that's important for operators. Um, if you're talking about things like uncarded play and you, know, you have to know their customer and all the FinCEN and all the financial requirements, uh, it's important. And quite frankly, if you go to the consumer side, it's a convenient thing. You know, some people maybe don't want to carry a card around. They don't want to have a key fob or a kiosk. And they can just log in with a button and um, you know, get off and, and get playing in the machines. It automatically welcomes me to the game and I've been logged into the game and I can play and all my play is being recorded. So these types of games um, are coming from the player tracking system and they're awarding the player extra free play um, based on their loyalty. A big thing I think that'll be talked about is opting in or opting out, right? You have to clearly make this known to the consumer, the player, that you're sitting at a machine that has this technology. If you don't want to be part of it, there has to be a way for that player or the consumer to opt out of that. And I think that's some of the challenges and some of the hurdles that we have to get over. The attempts that were made in the past changed the experience by introducing either touch screens on the table or requiring somebody to bring a cell phone to the table, which can slow the game and change the gaming experience. Here what we are doing is we're not touching the table. You still use the same cards and the same chips, so it's not becoming an electronic table. It's the same exact experience that is augmented with new capabilities that make it that we can have real-time marketing bonusing at the table that we can bring functions like calling a host or ordering a drink to the table, again, without slowing the game or changing the experience that is tried and tested. Mm -hmm.